What is going on, everybody? It's your boy Bula coming at you with another video for the channel. Oh, welcome back to the DMV Sports Zone. And then today, guys, I'm coming at you with a video about our boy, number one, Cinc not Cinco, Uno, Jahan Dotson, the rookie. Before I get into this video, please make sure to like, comment, subscribe for more DMV Sports content as we try to push out as much fire content out there as possible. And let's get straight to the video. I know I made a video about Jahan and Terry being like the best duo in the NFL, but I just want to focus on Jahan in this video. I mean, man. Out of Penn State, the 19th overall, a lot of f scouts out there, even fans, they wanted a linebacker, they wanted a corner, and I didn't even, like, I knew Jahan's name, but everyone was saying that he was a day two guy, day three in the draft, and I mean, we saw in college, Penn State honestly had a similar situation to what Terry had when he got into the pros, he didn't really have a stable QB at Penn, and when Terry got here, it was Case Keenum. Dwayne, may he rest in peace, Colt McCoy. So there really wasn't any balance. So I saw the similarities in that struggle, but he still put up numbers at Penn State. That crazy one-handed catch over Sean Wade, Ohio, like that was like one of the best corners in college football at the time. And just overall was balling out. I mean, he was, he was used to always, there was one game where he just went off against Maryland. So again, it's, it, it was, he was a baller in college and now going to the pros. I mean, in training camp this offseason, or not training camp, the OTAs that the DMV Sports Zone group was invited to, we had a chance to talk with Jahan. And he was obviously a really cool guy. And pretty small. He's like 5'10", 5'11", super fast. And we asked Jahan, or Nadi asked him, what what was the, like, is there, has there been a big difference between, or maybe it was Noah that asked this, but was there a big difference between college and the pros and how has adjustment been for you? And then this answer will forever stick by me when he said, nah, man, this 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 S, S word is the same. I don't want to cuss, but he said, yeah, it feels the same. It ain't nothing hard. And I was like, man, his confidence as a rookie just gave me hope. And even in camp, we saw the highlights with him and Carson, the connection they had. And everyone was saying we have another Terry McLaurin in this team, which is awesome. It's not too bad to have two Terry McLaurins on your offensive side of the ball. In week one against Jacksonville, two touchdowns. That second touchdown, I think it was a one-handed grab. And it was amazing coverage by the defender, but still he caught it as a rookie. Like, insane, man. I mean, he had a touchdown against Dallas. I and mean, looking at his overall numbers this year, seven touchdowns, 414, 414 uh, yards, uh, 50 total, well, 29 total receptions and his longest one was a 61 yard catch on I guess the Giants on Sunday night which was again an incredible catch I mean Jahan guys has really that 49ers game there were some calls where uh, some plays where he his yards got called back because of a penalty so it sucks because like again it's back to that discussion where Jahan is like might get limited uh due to might get limited opportunities due to the quarterback play but Two wide receiver ones for an offense that if they get a QB, a stable QB, will be unstoppable. I'm just saying. I know. I know. We, we, Cincinnati, they got T. Higgins and Jamar Chase. Miami, they have Jalen Waddle, Tyreek Hill. But, man, Jahan is just something else. The league ain't ready for him, man. All I'm saying, dude. Like, And the fact that this man missed five games due to a hamstring injury honestly should be up there with Garrett Wilson and Christian Watson for Offensive Rookie of the Year. But I know it's probably going to go to Wilson or most likely Wilson. I don't think it'll be Watson, but it sucks because like we, his, stats, his stats should be way more than it is. But he's made a huge impact his rookie year, and it's it's been awesome, dude. And and the fact that, again, it was Carson, yet Taylor. And that's what a lot of fans were saying, that uh, when Jahan was going to come back, Taylor wasn't really looking his way. I mean, that, that touchdown against the Giants, when that, that tie game, the spin move. The run after the catch, the route running, the hands, it's its everything with Jahan. The league is not ready for this man, and a lot of guys are wrong about him. This guy, I just, number one, man, just, it's, you, you love to see it, you love to see it. But now, I just, we got to see him with the real QB. I can't really express that, I can't really emphasize that statement much more. I mean, come on, man. So, but Jahan just a baller and i'm excited we have two more games left cleveland and dallas so hopefully he puts up uh, he has uh, he puts up a good game good two good games to end the season off strong and maybe make the playoffs 
I don't know. It all depends on Commander Carson, but Jahan Dotson, we really hit it out the park with this man, too. And now we have two wide receiver ones on this offense, along with Curtis Samuel. If we somehow can find that tight end one, it's probably not Logan Thomas because, you know, injury and age. But Jahan, man, the league is not ready for this, man. I'm telling you, dude. can take the top off defense, screen passes. And honestly, like, I haven't seen him much in blocking, but... I haven't seen the man block as much, but when you're that explosive, do you really need to, should you be blocking? Like, come on, man. And the chemistry with him and Terry is just, it's incredible. But yeah, man, that, that's the video I wanted to make today. I just want to talk about Jahan Dotson, our rookie. And I uh, can't say it enough, man. This guy is incredible. This is way better than Pierre Garçon, Deshaun Jackson. I really expect these guys to, when they get a stable QB and fully healthy, both these guys to have at least a thousand yard seasons for the next few years, as long as they're in Washington. But let me know your guys' thoughts on Jahan. I mean, he's a baller, nothing much else said. Love the dude. Might need to get his jersey. He got Terry's jersey a couple months ago, so maybe Jahan is up next. With that being said, guys, please make sure to like, comment, subscribe for more DMV Sports content. I try to push out as much fire content out there as possible. Follow us on all social media platforms, TikTok, Instagram, Twitter, at DMV Sports Zone. We love the support, man. It's been hard because I'm at home, and obviously I'm in a different setting when recording, so... I have family over and stuff, but again, just work with me and support. It's there and try to pump out the content for you guys. But yeah, man, head of the Commanders. Big game this week should be winnable. But with this team, has anything been winnable? Has anything been winnable for the past twenty years? Who knows? All right, guys. Peace. Take a man.